All right, so this new change has been spotted in the Model Y owner's manual. If your Model Y is equipped with a structural battery pack, the exact location of the lift points will differ slightly. Yeah, this is just talking about where you can safely jack up the car. Yeah, but you see, now Tesla is referencing the structural battery pack. Oh, right. I mean, <laughs> this is a good sign that it's coming for real. I mean, I see. Uh, do you see, though? Because it raises some interesting questions. Like, 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 where does, where my, does model my Model Y come, come from? from? Because structural battery pack Model Ys will be built at Giga Texas, but probably not Fremont. So will Fremont stop making Model Ys? And will Fremont shut down their Model Y line and switch to Model 3s? And will Tesla customers care? Or are we just in a Tesla nerd bubble? Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, we haven't really had this problem before in North America. Mm. Normally, when you order a Tesla, it's going to be coming with the battery that you thought it was going to be coming with. Well, this raises a big question. I don't know. I mean, we, you know, if you're watching the show, then you know what a structural battery pack is right yep. and you want that in your car but what if you are on the waiting list right now for model y it comes one day and then you find out your friend's model y got the structural battery pack but yours didn't because right. yours is made in fremont and theirs is made in texas right. aren't you gonna be mad there would have to be some insane difference for it to make a difference yeah i don't think there is going to be a noticeable difference but you're always going to drive around knowing that you're not having the structural battery pack. but i mean that's the question like is it going to be that uh, the structural battery pack is going to have a way longer range like oh it can go an extra 30 miles because that would be like yeah i'd be pretty mad if i didn't get that but doesn't that mean your car would have the 4680s and the other car wouldn't if the cars drive the same if they roughly weigh the same if they have pretty much the same range and if they supercharge the same which we all don't know if that's going to be the case but right. let's say that they do it would be like somewhere in my car there's a Fabergé egg I can't sell it for anything but I think in my car there is one and and my friend's car there isn't one I don't know like is there a difference or was it just cheaper for Tesla to manufacture <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know if outside of our little bubble, if anyone does care, um, right. because I think a lot of people out there who are buying these cars don't even know what's in them. They don't even probably even know they have electric motors for all we know. Like, <laughs> or what the battery pack looks like. Right. So, you know, it, it is a really good question. I mean, for me, like, yeah, part of me is like, I want the 4680s in my car. I don't know if that matters. But I do wonder at Fremont if they're going to just stop the Model Y line or if they're going to somehow put structural battery packs in there. It seems like that would be hard to do, but... Yeah, so I have no idea if like that's part of the plan that they're just going to stop production of the Model Y in Fremont and have it switch over to Texas. But then if you're the last person getting a Model Y without a structural pack, aren't you going to be pretty mad? That's, that's what, what I'm, I'm talking about. about. There's always going to be that case. Right. Then like even if they do a ramp down and a ramp up. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's going to be like a lot of mad people one month who are like, we're the last ones to get the old pack. Right. So much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.